when I think about National Adoption Month, I think that it's a month of a very loud single story told by certain people and not by adoptees. Flip the script for me means validating all these feelings that I have. But I want other people who are adoptees to know it's okay for them to have these feelings. Your mother was too young, your parents weren't married, they were teenagers, and they wanted what was best for you, so they, they chose adoption for you. I think that's such a prevalent story that there's no complexity in it. It's just here is the easy answer for this really horrible, horrible situation. That lost daughters, I think we all have like similar views on on things because we do have like you know a, sh a, a shared experience in a way because we're all adopted, but we've lived things differently. So like we all have something to to add to the conversation. We're often told to leave our past in our past. And a part of me uh, struggles with that because you're telling me, as I was placed when I was older, so for me, you're telling me to leave these memories that I've had of my, fam my first family. You're saying it's not valid and it's time for me to move forward. Yeah, you know, when, when I think about flipping the script, I think about this is my truth. This is my narrative. Uh, I don't need to uh, have a PhD to be an expert in the story of my life. National Adoption Month without adoptees is like a shoe without laces. Like you're missing the very fabric of the equation. And you might fall. <laughs> Flip the script says, what if it was me? What if it was us that got to do the talking and everyone just listened? What would we stand to gain if we did that? And I argue we'd gain a lot.